Marvin, dealing with uh, the coaching change and some of the drama off the field and whatnot, where did the leadership come from this season from inside the locker room? I think that was important. Um, you know, what we did, what we dealt with um, this season, um, nobody, um, you know, in their right mind would have thought, you know, when you came here that that was going to happen. Um, so it was, it was great to have the leaders and the people in, the, in our locker room that we had um, to really keep the team together um, because there was, I mean, sheesh, it, it was hard, you know. So, um, and I, I took pride on myself to make sure I can't, I can't, you know, get in one of those moments to where I'm going off and, you know, because everybody's gonna, everybody's following me, you know. So um, it's good for, you know, it was good for me and a lot of leaders on this team to um, really just keep the young guys and like, hey, you know, this, this is not the NFL. Don't think this is like, this is like the NFL. Like we have to this is what you do, this is what you do, follow me in this, and like, don't do this and do this, and follow, you know, follow here, and stuff like that. So um, the leaders on our um, team within the locker room did an amazing job, um, you know, uh, shoot, with the circumstances that we had and, and all the challenges that we had, you know, <clears throat> facing, you know, internally and externally. So um, I tip my hats off, you know, to everybody in the locker room, the, the OG, I guess I'm the, yeah, I'm the OG and the, and the youngest youngest person, you know, um, just sticking together and having fun together. So, All right, thanks, Mark.